Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy, and I'm here to do your reading for Libra. This is for Love and Relationships for November 2018. This is a general reading, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. And if you would like a personal reading, you can contact me for that. I will leave all of my information down in the description box. So today I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot deck for the main read and also using two oracle decks here for um, some advice cards and I will leave also leave those down in the description box if you're interested in those. This is a general love and relationship reading. Um, how this works Libra is this side here will represent your energy. The side over here will represent the other person. By the other person, that can be your uh, spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, significant other. If you're not in a relationship, it can be the person you are talking to or have a crush on. It can even be an ex-partner. So just take it however it applies to your specific situation. And also check your moon and rising sign. Check out those videos as well as they can um, give you a bigger picture of what's going on. Okay. So thank you so much guys for watching and um, please subscribe to my channel. Please leave me a comment and please like and share. We're going to go ahead and get started Libra. I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards here. <clears throat> so we're ready to begin. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck Libra you have the Emperor. This is your overall energy for the month of November. Now this can represent your energy or this can be, represent the person you are dealing with. Um, the Emperor can represent a Scorpio or an Aries. Um, doesn't have to be that specific sign. This is somebody who is very much dominant. They're very much in control. It is a masculine energy. Um, this person, the Emperor, is in charge of all of the kings and so they have you know they might be in a very high position of authority this could be a judge it could be a lawyer it could be somebody um, who oversees a lot of other people now if this is your energy Libra this just means you are very much in control of your life this month very much in control of uh, the decisions that you are making especially in your love life and I, I just see the emperor as very much not putting up with anybody's bullshit. Okay. So if this is your energy, you're, you know, you're standing strong on what it is that you believe in and what it is that you want in your relationships. Okay. Now, <clears throat> underneath that, you also have the five of swords, the devil card and the six of cups so you could also be dealing with a Capricorn here with the devil card but I do see with this combination this person can be very controlling um, with the devil card it can be somebody who likes to be in control of, of things of, of other people and with the five of swords this is a card of conflict. So you may be having some conflict with this person. This person likes to win. This person likes to be right. It doesn't matter what the situation is or who they're dealing with. This person likes to win. And it doesn't matter um, at what cost. So the Five of Swords is always talks about conflict. And um, it just, I, I'm feeling like the person you are dealing with has to be right or has to win no matter what the cost and sometimes that could be the cost of the relationship and with the devil card here there's a lot of toxic energy there's a lot of manipulation there's a lot of controlling energy but you do have the six of cups which tells me that this could be a very karmic relationship um, it could be a soulmate energy and that could be why you're very so much very attracted to this person um, because there is a history there you could have 
been with this person in a past life or even um, in a past in, in a past relationship or this could even be somebody from your childhood okay <clears throat> so we're gonna see where this goes for you Libra and the first card you have represents your energy and you have the page of Pentacles in reverse so what I'm seeing here, Libra, is that you're very, this month, you are a little bit worried about finances. Um, you know, we do have the holidays coming up. You might just be not wanting to quite spend as much, but this also talks about delays. And I feel like you're not really wanting to act on a situation right now. You could be waiting for something to happen. Um, with the page of pentacles in reverse, I feel like you are, I really feel like this emperor is the other person. <clears throat> and to me, it feels like you're waiting for something to happen. Now, this could be something financial, um, but it's almost like this person is in control or is in charge and you're not really sure. You don't really feel like this is the time to act. Um, and we're going to see exactly why that is. Um, we're going to see more as we go here, okay? So the other person, Libra, their energy is coming up as the Ace of Cups. So this is very interesting. Um, the Ace of Cups tells me that they're offering you something okay cups is all about emotions so i feel like they are offering you some type of commitment this can be an engagement it can be um an offer of love it can even be an apology for some of you and that might be why you're hesitating here why you're not acting you might have been waiting for this apology to come in and I feel like it is coming if it hasn't already happened, but they're extending out their hand to you and offering you something. But what I'm seeing here, Libra, is you're not really sure if you want to accept it. You're not, you're, you're hesitating with the page of pentacles in reverse. There's an energy of not wanting to act on it. So for some reason, you're not ready to take this offer or you're not a you're not it's not the right time or you're just not sure if you want to accept it at all okay so the next card you have Libra is represents your emotions and you have the five of cups so emotionally you are looking at something from the past and you're mourning, you're sad. Something here has been lost. Um, this is a card of grieving. So somebody could have passed away, but I also, but I, I feel like for a lot of you, this is an emotional loss um, from something that's been done to you in the relationship, excuse me, in the relationship, something that has hurt you. And you're not looking at these two cups here that are still standing okay so this person is offering you their cup libra and you're not looking at it you're completely turned the other direction you're not even looking at it okay so i see what i'm seeing here for a lot of you is some unforgiveness this person has hurt you in the past and you are not accepting their apology it feels to me like they've hurt you more than once and they might have come back and apologized before, but they turned around and did the same thing to you. Um, so you're very, you're very hurt. You're very sad emotionally. You know, you feel like there's been a betrayal here. And even though they're coming in, offering you this apology, offering you this cup that looks beautiful and, um, emotional and happy and overflowing with you know with 
um, love and emotion that's in all the water energy there, you're not even thinking about it right now. You have your back turned and you are upset. You're very, you're very much hurt. Okay. So <clears throat> that can be, you know, where this five of swords comes in, where they, you know, they feel like they always have to be right. They feel like they always have to win. But with that devil card, this is a very toxic energy. This, this person, um, it can be a codependent relationship. It can be where you feel like you always go back to this person, no matter what they do. Um, but right now you're very hurt. So the next card we have Libra will represent their emotions. And they have the four of wands in reverse. So this is very interesting. Um, I'm feeling like with this card that there's a breakdown in the communication of the relationship. There's a breakdown of the structure of it. And this can even be that you guys have been separated or perhaps we're talking about um, divorce if you're married. This is a break from the relationship. So even though they're coming in with this apology, they're not really giving you the whole story. They're not giving you the communication that you need as to why this keeps happening. This is what I'm, this is what I'm, um, hearing is that you're not satisfied with just this one cup. Libra, you want all the cups, you know, uh, you want the 10 of cups. You want everything. This little one cup is just the beginning. This is just a start, you know, and I feel like they've offered you offered this to you before, but they just never followed up with the rest of the cups. Okay. So, there's a breakdown here and I feel like the main breakdown is the communication in the relationship. Um, there's either a lack of communication or there's communication where there's not been, there's been some lines and deceiving, not telling you the whole story, not telling you all the truth. Um, but there's been a breakdown in this, in this relationship. And it's on this person's energy. It's on their side. So I feel like it's mostly coming from them. Um, and that's why you're hesitating. That's why you're holding back, Libra. That's why you're not acting on this apology, on this offer. You're just not sure if you're going to give them another chance. Because this is, you know, this is where it should be. The four of the four of wands upright, you know, a happy home. Uh, this is a celebration, but it's, it's a breakdown in that. Okay. So we're going to see what the potential outcome is here for you, Libra, for the month of November. And we have the four of pentacles and we have two Oracle cards. First one is compassion. And the second one is give your relationship a chance. It says work on your partnership. So what I'm seeing Libra is that you are still hesitating to give this person a chance. You're holding on very tight to your pentacles. This can be Pentacles typically have to do with money or things that are uh, stable in our life, okay? So you might have um, separated from this person and you have a fear of letting them back into your life. There can be some financial um, factors at play here. But I'm also seeing this as you holding on tight to your emotions and to your heart. You can see how he 
has this pentacle wrapped up so close to his chest and he's holding on to it for dear life. You're afraid. You're afraid to let go of it. You're afraid to give it um, to the other person. And, you know, with the Page of Pentacles in reverse here, when we have it upright, you're offering your pentacle to somebody. With it in the reverse, you're like, nah, I'm not too sure about it. I'm going to hold on to hold on to my pentacles a little bit longer and see how this plays out. Now, your Oracle card does say, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So maybe now is not the time to act. Um, but it is saying that there is hope here. But it's going to take a lot of work. It's going to, but it's going to take work, not just from you, but from the other person. So is the other person willing to work on it as much as you are? And if that's the case, I do feel like, um, it is, there is hope here for your relationship, but there's going to, it's going to take a lot of work from both sides. Um, your other Oracle card is compassion. And I feel like Libra, you are generally typically a very compassionate person. Um, and I do feel you have compassion for your partner, but this is saying to me, maybe there's something that you're unaware of that's going on in their life right now, um, which is causing this conflict, which is causing this pain and this, um, you know, this breakdown in your relationship. Um, and it's also saying to have compassion for yourself as well. You know, if you're not ready to accept their offer, you know, if you're still hurting and still grieving, then that's okay. You know, don't rush it. Have compassion for yourself as well as the other person and have respect for yourself and have respect for them. And really that's all you can do at this point. I do feel like there's not going to be a lot of action happening in the month of November with the four of pentacles. Um, but there's going to be a lot of internal work, a lot of thinking, a lot of meditating and a lot of, um, deciding and trying to make the decision, um, as to how you want to proceed with this relationship. If you want to proceed at all. But please have compassion on yourself. Okay, Libra. So there's your reading for November. I hope you enjoyed it. If this resonated with you, please leave me a comment. I love to read all of your personal comments and situations. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And like and share this video if you know somebody that would um, enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And have a great rest of the month.